And we are back with another Get Good at Business highlight. This time I am joined by the wonderful daughter, do mother-daughter duo of Sherilyn Arnold and Caitlin Montgomery. I'm so excited for you guys to join me today. Uh, as, as you guys know, and as those who are watching, this is all about helping entrepreneurs get good at business. And I am your host, Taylor Proctor, your Get Good at Business coach, helping you get good at business so you can get back into the heart of why you got into business in the first place. And the way that we do that is through the I Move Method, which stands for Intuition, Marketing, Operations, Velocity, and Execution. And today we'll be diving into the inspiration behind Sherilyn and Caitlin's business, as well as how they utilize the areas of the I Move Method to achieve business success. So with that said, let me tell you a little bit about them. Caitlin and Sherilyn are mompreneurs, six-figure earners, and Amazon best-selling authors with books on setting healthy boundaries, productivity, and turning dreams into reality. They take women on international empowerment retreats to dreamy locations. They formed Dear Dreamer as a way to create a tribe of like-minded women in business who could travel the world with them on empowerment retreats. Their retreats are designed to be in a transformational experience as well as a way to, way to reset, regroup, and rediscover ourselves. So thank you both for being here. So excited to have you on the show. Oh, thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. Awesome. Hey, so just in case anybody thought that we were sisters, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, a, we're, we're a mother daughter duo. Mother I'm daughter. Sure. I'm so sorry. I, I had to really quickly clarify, but also you both look great. So you could be sisters. <laughs> One of you is just a little bit of an older sister. <laughs> there you go. We're mature. I'll make it. <laughs> So you guys have the Dear Dreamer business. I would love to know kind of a twofold thing here. What inspired you to create Dear Dreamer and take on empowering women's retreats? But then also what inspired you guys to do this as a duo together? Well, it's been literally years in the making. It took us forever to just get the name picked out. I think we sat on it for two years. Hey, we want to do this thing. How do we want to do it? What are we going to call it? And we would brainstorm it on all of our, our like morning walks together until this year. We really like figured out what we wanted to do with who and what we would call it. But we've been in business together a lot longer than that. You want to tell her how we kind of yes. started? So um, I had a 30 year network marketing business and Caitlin was a drafter for an architect. She was becoming an architect. So um, part, you know, part of that journey, you end up drafting first and then you become an architect. And one day she was just like, mom, I did not realize how amazing it is to be self-employed and to own your own business. Just the freedom, the flexibility, you know, of being treated the way you demand to be retreat treated and, um, and the income, you know, and she just was like, I'm thinking about joining you in network marketing. And I was like, absolutely, come on in. <laughs> and um, so that was that was two years ago. Yeah. She also um, loves doing brand photography. That is her like creative outlet. She'll probably never let that go because that's just really speaks to her. She's really good at it. And um, so we got going on that. And her son, my grandbaby, um, started having seizures last summer it's crazy out of the blue he was not even two years old and um what 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 did that what did that make your life look like as far as like demands on your time yeah so all of a sudden we we're looking at okay now we're gonna have regular doctor's appointments speech therapy checkups and then there was more testing they're gonna want to do in the future which might, which might lead to more time commitments with different, you know, therapy, therapy groups, toddler groups, like it really was like, okay, I need to suddenly have a lot more time freed up just for him, you know, than, than I already had. I was home with him all the time. That's like, that's, what's been so great about being self-employed is I was already home with him, had lots of time with him, but now I had to kind of shift like everything to be mostly him and run my business still, but less time running the business. So what happened was, um, first of all, before she had Tyler, she had to get out of this situation. It became very abusive at her job. And 
I was just like, oh my gosh, we need to do something. Time so I <laughs> I formed this little company. Um, I always wanted to dabble in real estate. You know, um, I didn't have time to really devote a lot of time to it because I was working 40 hours a week in network marketing. I was making six figures, but it was taking like my whole day every day. You know, I did love, I loved the freedom and the flexibility. Like it was totally worth it, but um, I, I wasn't making enough to like bring Caitlin on as an assistant or like anything like that. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to just form this little real estate investing company. And I closed a deal and it ended up being one year's salary for Caitlin because she was, you know, she was making like 15 an hour. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 yeah. it was a pre-graduation job. So she was making 2000 a month. I had $24,000. It seemed like you talk about like, Man, you talk that. about like intuition, you know, we'll, we'll talk about intuition in a minute, but I immediately knew that that is exactly what, how I needed to invest that money was in Caitlin. So I brought her on as a partner in that company and just was like, here, just run it. We knew that she could quit her job for at least a year. She could always go look for another one, you yep. know, but at least she could pay her bills for a year. And then I didn't have to try to be managing both things. Then she said, I want to join you in network marketing. Then Tyler started having seizures and she's like, mom, something has to go with all of the therapies and appointments. And just, you know, it was like a full-time job, just managing his, um, his, uh, what do you call it? Seizure disorder. Yeah. Yeah. And so we quit the network marketing. We quit my, my 30 year business bringing in six figures and I just didn't want to do it without her and I just didn't want to do it anymore and we just quit and it, it took us about 48 hours to mm -hmm. know that of <laughs> all the things that we were involved in that one was the least fun taking up the most time and bringing in the least per hour it was bringing in the most per month because mm -hmm. it was a I had a business yeah I had a big business I mean I had a 30-year business but and we just we walked away from it. The real estate side just went nuts. That's like in a good course, way. Right. But you know what we missed is we missed leading other women. We missed the group of people that you have in your bubble. It doesn't matter what business you're in. When it's network marketing, you have, you know, have your upline, you have your downline, you have your customers, you have your team members, you have your, even your cohorts who are at the same place as you that you're meeting at conferences and traveling with and so much connection. Yes. We yeah. missed it so much. Suddenly we were like a little two woman Island. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that, that, that is how dear dreamer was born. That was a very long way to answer your question, but <laughs> it was kind of a long journey in the making. And yes. the real estate business made us realize we can, we can travel, mm -hmm. we can afford it. And we can go anywhere, anytime. And so we started planning trips and realizing how much fun it was. This lady is crazy at brilliant planning trips. And then we started being our friends on our trips. And so we're just like, okay, well, we miss the connection with women and we love traveling and we want to marry that and, and mentor other women and also show them like, you can travel you can do it, you know? And so it's been really fun to bring that all together. That is incredible. And I love that there's so many incredible takeaways. Cause one of the first things that popped into my head is Sherilyn, when you said I had a 30 year, 30 year business and it took us 48 hours to walk away from it. Like as yeah. entrepreneurs, we change our business and we shift and we grow mm -hmm. and we evolve. And I think it's you so good it. to note that like things that worked for you before aren't going to work, may not work for you now, whether it's the market or it's your intuition leading you. And I love that. Yeah. That's kind of that yeah. second thing too, which is it feels like a lot of this was led by intuition. So how yeah. did you, how did you and how do you continue to tap intuition uh, into intuition to guide Dear Dreamer? So, you know, intuition really, if you think about it, is inner guidance, right? So it is um, looking inward for your answers. You always seem to be, myself included, we always seem to be looking outward. Mm -hmm. for signs for what we should do for help for the next idea honestly we are such powerful beings we're bless you we are such <laughs> we are such powerful beings um we already know like subconsciously we already know 
what we are supposed to be doing and who we are supposed to be helping and how we are supposed to be doing it. We already know. And if we don't quite know the method of carrying that out, it will be provided for us if we will just relax, be still, be the best version of ourselves that we can be. So lead yourself better and then worry about nothing and seek to understand everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, that's really how I, I love saying, you know, wait to worry um, and lead yourself better. When you lead yourself better, then, um, are we still on? <laughs> yeah, I can, I can, I can, I you're can just frozen. You. <laughs> I can hear you, but you froze. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, when you lead yourself better, you will start to attract like-minded people, first of all. So your ideal clients, your ideal team members, your ideal customers, like minds are always attracted to like minds. So if you want stellar customers, then you need to be a stellar person and you just work on yourself, lead yourself better. So yeah, guide yourself better. That's how, I mean, that's how I've been using intuition to guide all my decisions. And when I know something, I have no problem acting on it. As soon as it became clear that, wait a minute, it was painful. Don't take me, don't take, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. It was painful walking away from a 30 year business. It was like ripping off. Yeah. It was 48 hours of agony as we decided and yeah. And sat with it. Yeah. And Caitlin was shocked. It shocked her socks off. <laughs> yeah. When I was like, okay, hear me out. That wasn't the answer I thought you were going to come up with. Yeah. Um, but well, it has I, been a huge blessing. I have a question on that. Our video? Oh. I, don't, I don't have your video. If you are able to pull that there back. It kicked it off. There we go. <laughs> um, I was going to say, so obviously, Sherilyn, you've got 30 years plus of experience in learning to trust your intuition and to trust it to the point where once you know, you know. Uh, Caitlin, how... How has intuition helped you in guiding this business, uh, coming into it a little bit of a, a, a fresher perspective, a newbie perspective in some ways? Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm still, I mean, a student in so many areas, um, but I have really relied on what she talked about with kind of making sure that you and your life is in order. I've had times in my business where I felt like I, I was being ran by my business or my, my life is being run, in, run by everything else. And, and it's so easy not to have any kind of work-life balance, you know, but just applying principles of, okay, make sure my cup is filled, that everything is at peace with me in my life, that I have everything in order, um, has just shown me that I have more to give. And like she said, more space to be quiet, to feel like I can receive the inner guidance you know, and that light and inspiration. And so, yeah, I just have really tried, especially in the midst of my son's turmoil, you know, trying to still keep that peace, keep everything together so that um, I can be my best self and be available to receive intuition. I love that. And it is so obvious throughout your your origin stories and even where you're at now, how much of, of a tool and how much intuition plays a part in your business. So let's shift, let's shift gears now to the M of the iMove method, which is marketing. You guys have a pretty unique business by taking women on <laughs> transformative experiences across the world and retreats. Uh, what unique marketing strategies have you found to be the most effective to reach and connect with that ideal audience to participate with your dreamer? I love that you say it's unique because because it's so unique, we have had to hire other professionals mm -hmm. to help us like understand, not only understand marketing, but, like, okay, now how would you market in our specific area? Because this is such like a niche thing that I don't think we see a lot of other women do. So mm -hmm. luckily for us, our real estate business is at a point where it can kind of be the funding for Dear Dreamer. It can help it get off of off the ground. So we've helped, um, well, we've had ladies help us build our website. Um, they've given us training on social media. We're learning about email lists and funnels and lead magnets and, and all these things. So I would just say if marketing is like a foreign 
concept to you when you start your business or if you don't like it or you're not good at it, it's definitely worth delegating or getting some education and letting other professionals kind of tutor you up on how to do it. And then, you know, you can, I'm sure you can learn and then do it yourself, you know, going forward. And, you know, we, we talked to somebody else about this and she's like, well, I don't have, a, I don't have this booming multiple six figure business, you know, that I can siphon money into my new, my new company. And I think a lot of people, when they try to start a new business, um, they think that they're being, you know, unfaithful to that business or they're um, not going to be able to put enough time into that business if they don't quit everything else. Honestly, I would tell people, go get a little job, go get a little job, go sell something, go, you know, go find a, even a small stream of income so that you can have a professional website. You know, you can have a copywriter help you if you, my gosh, have you tried to place a Facebook ad <laughs> these days? Holy cow. That was a week of learning for us. And I did it wrong. I had 450,000 men visit oh, my no. website and, we and 20, men. 25 women. I'm like, a women's retreat I yeah I'm like I'm done but yes um create a, or don't don't quit your day job until your business um is at a point where you can you know shift your focus notice how I started the second company and then I quit my 30-year network marketing business I didn't just like in over a two-day period go I'm out okay what else can I do now you know and so um our, I guess our unique strategy is that we try not to, we try to handle as very little of our marketing as possible. Is that unique? I, don't I, know. I think it's kind of like with photography. So I'm five years in photography. And I think the first three years I bumbled around trying to be like, what's Instagram? How do you use Instagram? How do you do this? And it was so painful. <laughs> and I eventually figured it out. But it took me five years. And so now with this other business, we're like, okay, from the get-go, if this isn't something that we can figure out in like a week, we're going to find somebody who can just show us and teach us. And let's just get that over with. So we can go back to planning the fun retreats and doing the parts that we're really good at. And that we like. You know? and, and this professional can keep showing us how it works until we're ready to be like, okay, I think we can do this ourselves if we want to. Or if we're like, hey, it's not worth the time it's going to take to do this ourselves, then have that ongoing relationship. I had a copywriter start writing my emails for me, but I also paid her to teach me mm -hmm. how she is writing them. So I just paid her for one month and I and then she taught me. Um, she also looked at my past emails and for a fee, I paid her, but she went through and said, okay, here's what you tend to do. Here's what you tend to say. Here's what you need to do. And my open rate has shot clear up to beyond 50%. Mm. And my click-through rate was like 3%. So, so that's like double the, the norm out there. So totally worth it to get a little bit of help. I'm not going to pay her $1,000 a month for the rest of my life, but um, it was worth it to pay her once to show me. And um, now, and I enjoy writing. We're both writers. I enjoy writing my emails. If I didn't, I might just keep paying her. But, yeah. <laughs> you know. I love that too, because you guys segued so beautifully into the operations because you guys have put a process and a system in place where you're like, mm, not worth our time, not worth the energy. We don't enjoy this. Let's outsource it. So then now let's take us to the velocity piece of the iMove method, which is the strategies to really employ and maintain the velocity and the momentum and the growth of your business, dear dreamer. How, what strategies have you guys put in place? <laughs> we were just talking about this today. And um, so we have already been on, um, well, we've been all over the world. And then we've been on one, we, we did one retreat. We went to England. So we just got last fall, this fall. So this, we have a trip coming up to France in the end um, that we're taking registrations for, but uh, we learned a lot about growth and maintaining growth. What did you say? We're not a two woman. What did you say? We're, we learned we can't go on these retreats and be a two woman show. No. Yeah. Like we were, I was like, I was literally driving the van <laughs> and um, the itinerary. Yeah. I yeah. planned the itinerary. Caitlin was trying to do the photography and then we were, um, 
planning the meals, how we we're going to get the groceries, how we were going to oh, get from A to B. Yeah, all the transportation yeah. and, you know, besides the, re the retreat part of it, we were total slaves to <laughs> everyone while we were yeah, there. too many balls up in the air. It's almost like we need to go back, just us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go back to England. Have <laughs> yeah, have Mini a retreat. <laughs> Mini retreat just for the two of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like you have to go make a new memory, you know, sometimes when you've had kind of a hectic experience. Like, okay, go make a new memory. Yeah. It's, and something I learned in my network marketing business um, is that you you do have to get some help. So I stopped cleaning my house um, because I wanted to spend time with my kids and I I couldn't I couldn't do both. Mm -hmm. And you know, I picked the fun fun thing that <laughs> will have lasting um, impact. Kids are better than toilets. Yes. Yeah, kids are better <laughs> than toilets. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> most <laughs> of the time. <laughs> You didn't so, do it. I like taking the toilet. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And so you've got a, we've, we've got, you know, housekeepers. We have people that do our banking, that do our grocery shopping, that do all of our back office work. If it doesn't have to do with people and showing up and being with people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're the parts that make a lot of money. Yeah. You know how to do that part. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna, like, I'm not sitting down and mailing out Birth, monthly birthday gifts to all my network marketing team. I do send them. I pay for them. I don't even pick them out. I don't like it. I don't like picking them out. I My office assistant has a budget and she just mm -hmm. makes it happen and signs my name, you know, and then I get all these wonderful little messages. Oh, thank you so much for the birthday earrings. I'm like, we're giving earrings. Oh, we're <laughs> giving earrings this year. Okay. So you know, for France, you have a friend. She's been to France before. She made friends with the tour guide. And so she's asked him to moonlight and be the tour guide for France. So we will not have to be the tour guides for this trip. He'll take care of that. We have a friend who is well-traveled. She's going to come be our concierge. And she's going to kind of be the bridge between us and our guests. And she'll kind of filter everything back to us. She'll have stuff that we probably won't even have to touch because she'll be like, oh, I know how to handle that. I'll take care of it. We've just decided to build a team this time of other people who will come with us and help us run it. And they're gonna be better at those parts that we probably weren't great at running ourselves the last retreat. And then we can focus more on the empowerment and the mentoring mm -hmm. and really nail that because we've cleared so much off our plates. And that's such a beautiful way to drive that velocity and that momentum and that growth because you are having the team to support you. Yes. So what is the next big initiative that you're executing on? What's on the horizon for Dear Dreamer? Well, we're so excited. You tell her. <laughs> okay, well, our applications are ending very soon, like April 8th for France this year. For this year. So we already have our location picked and we're going to start. We have to switch our website out and put everything in your side you tell her we are going to we're going to italy italy next year and we've we're already starting to to plan it pick the locations yeah the itinerary to talk about dates yeah you know t talking about our team do we need to add people to the team yeah that's amazing very very oh. cool yeah and so uh we have this in the biz in the description of this live but where can our listeners slash viewers learn more about you? And especially if they wanted to check out either the upcoming France or the future forthcoming Italy trip. They can find us at deardreamer.com. Yeah. And you'll see everything there. You can get our books there. You can view the France retreat and try, try to get yourself in there before it closes. And then that's also where Italy will be. So as long as you know deardreamer.com, you'll have all the tabs there to see everything that we have to offer. We've got we've got room for two, three more people for France. And so just to every everybody in over in France, they want like they want um they've been bugging me about okay, we need a headcount, we need mm -hmm. a deposit, we need and all this is non-refundable. I know that here in America we're like, oh I it's not until September. I can let Sherilyn know that I want to go with her in July. Or August and but no internationally you have to book it months. We in are buying plane tickets months in advance. Yeah. So um we're offering people a five hundred dollar discount just the last like two, three that fill those spots. They can come for five hundred less because I want to just be sure we got everybody before we are like, okay, no more, no more for France. Um we're going to Normandy and Paris. 
or just Paris. If people can't get away for 10 days, they can come for a, a seven just day Paris. Seven day trip to just Paris. Yeah. So it's oh, gonna be awesome. That's what we've got going on. I love it. Love it. Love it. And ladies, thank you so much for being so real and so candid about your experience, your journey, how you utilize other experts to support you in your marketing, your operational support, and even in giving velocity towards your business. Absolutely love it. And for those of you who are watching and listening, don't worry, we have more Get Good at Business highlights to come. And if you like the idea of the iMove method and you want to learn more, this episode is sponsored by the Get Good at Business Mastermind, which is a monthly mastermind dedicated to helping you get good at business through networking, iMove trainings, hot seat Q&A, and even co-working sessions. And all of that is just for five hours of your time a month, moving your business forward and helping you get good. And it's $27 just to get your feet wet in that first month and make sure it's a good fit, $97 a month after that. So if you'd like to learn more about the iMove method and continue to get good at business as sponsored by this episode, check out the Get Good at Business Mastermind. I'm your host, Taylor Proctor. Thanks so much for joining me today. And of course, stay tuned. We will have more amazing Get Good at Business spotlights and highlights coming soon. And thank you so much again, Sherilyn and Caitlin, for joining us. Thanks for having us. Bonjour.